Uh, hey everybody, this is X. Could be a continuation of the Brian Danielson Top 50 Matches Countdown. Uh, we left off at number 17. This is uh, Danielson versus Nigel McGuinness from Rising Above 2008. This is actually a pay-per-view from Chicago. Uh, the crowd was huge here. Did not feel like an independent wrestling match at all because uh, they had a super crowd. Um, you know, they had been building this up for a while. You know, they, they was, on pay-per-view they were building towards a huge Brian Danielson Nigel McGuinness match. Uh, this time for the Ring of Honor Championship for the first time on pay-per-view, you know, for the title and uh, had a huge build to it. I thought this was one of their better matches, you know, tremendous action. I think it did a lot for Nigel to uh, kind of get that big win over Danielson. You know, besides the sixth anniversary show, uh, I, I thought this is probably the uh, a, a bigger win for Nigel McGinn. It's really put a, a stamp of approval on his uh, Ring of Honor World title reign. Uh, you know, some people don't like the uh, Sugarfoot interference so maybe that hurts the match from some people, but I still thought this was uh, tremendous action. Probably the second or third best uh, Ring of Honor match from uh, 2008. Um, okay, so number uh, 16, we're going to go with the Era of Honor Begins. This is Brian Danielson versus Christopher Daniels versus Low Key. Triple threat match, the very first Ring of Honor main event. These guys just tore the house down. They set the standard. Uh, Danielson was only 20 years old at the time, but he looked awesome in this match. So uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, number 15, we're going to go with Danielson versus Paul London. This is from the Epic Encounter. Uh, basically, this was, uh, you know, this is a special attraction match because in 2003, Danielson uh, made rare appearances for Ring of Honor. But, uh, yeah, these guys went out at two out of three falls. This went about 41 minutes, did a lot for London. London actually won the match with the Shooting Star Press. Uh, great storytelling. You know, they just pretty much played off of their uh, Night of the Butcher match and just expanded expanded all the great stuff they did in that match into a longer more dramatic match and uh you know a lot of people thought this was probably the best ring of honor match of all time up to that point so and without that, that the best ring of honor match from 2003 so uh number 14 gonna go with danison versus tyler black this is their best match in my opinion by far this is from the new horizons pay-per-view took place in the summer of 2008 i believe in detroit uh yeah this had some awesome spots awesome brawling uh a lot of great high spots uh black actually was it Black or oh no? I think it was Danielson. I, oh, actually, I think it was Tyler Black. He actually did a buckle bomb to Danielson, and the uh, turnbuckle exploded. That was uh, a memorable spot in this match. And uh, Dan uh, Tyler Black actually did a moonsault onto the outside, which came off really, really good. So yeah, this is probably the best Danielson Tyler Black match by far, in my opinion. Uh, number thirteen, I'm going to go with uh, Brian Danielson versus Roderick Strong. This is from Supercard of Honor One for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Uh, you know, their Vendetta match went about 48 minutes. This one went about 56. This is probably their longest match. And, uh, you know, just great stuff. Danielson just dissected uh, Roderick Strong, took apart his knees, took apart his... Uh, uh, Strong actually chopped the shit out of him. But one time he actually missed and hit the uh, ring pole. So then he couldn't chop anymore because his, uh, you know, his hand was so bruised. So, uh, yeah, Danielson just dissected him, like I said. But, yeah, I mean, Danielson was just awesome in this match. He played a really, really cocky heel. Uh, the ending to this match is pretty sweet. You know, uh, Roderick had Danielson in the stronghold, and then, you know, Danielson just uh, reversed it into a pin. So that was, that was an awesome counter to end the match. So that was uh, Roderick versus Danielson from Supercard of Honor. Uh, number 12, I'm going to go with uh, Brian Danielson versus Austin Aries. This is from Testing the Limit, two out of three falls. Uh, this match went 76 minutes. This is the longest match in Ring of Honor history. Uh, Without a doubt, I mean, the, they went through hell in this match. This actually took place in 2004. Uh, production values are pretty bad, but, I mean, this had some really, really suicidal offense. Both these guys were just exhausted. They were drained. Uh, this match just took the life out of both of these guys. Aries actually won the match, got a huge win over Danielson. And, uh, you know, just Aries' career just pretty much catapulted, you know, after this match. So, um, excellent stuff. That was, not, uh, that was a number 12. Uh, number 11, I'm going to go with uh, Brian Danison and Tyler Black versus the American Wolves. This is from Double Feature 2, the tag title classic match. Probably the best tag team wrestling match that I've seen uh, Brian Danison participate in. Him and uh, Tyler just had a great match with the American Wolves. Uh, went to a 45-minute time limit draw. Just tremendous action for a 45-minute match. Uh, probably the second best match of 2009 in Ring of Honor. So um, I'll be back with the top 10. All right, so now we're up to the top 10 Brian Danielson matches of all time. At, at number 10, I'm going to go with uh, Brian Danielson versus Homicide from Final Battle 2006. This is where the uh, Brian Danielson title reign finally came to an end. Out of all the guys, Homicide defeated him uh, with a... Uh, uh, Danielson actually kicked out of the Gringo Killer, but then Homicide got him with the Larry. This is a very emotional match. The crowd was super hot for this. This felt like a, a WrestleMania-type main event. 
I mean, it just definitely had that WrestleMania feel to it. And then, you know, the aftermath was pretty awesome with Danielson, you know, giving Homicide the ROH World title. So, yeah, that was at number uh, 10. Uh, number 9, I'm going to go Brian Danielson versus James Gibson. This is from Glory of Honor 4. As most of you guys know, this is when Brian Danielson won the Ring of Honor World Championship finally. Uh, took a hiatus, was uh, away in Europe for the uh, previous summer, uh, but Gabe Sapolsky brought him back. And uh, him and Gibson just had a phenomenal uh you know wrestling masterpiece this was like a game of human chess and uh uh just uh, amazing stuff uh danielson actually made james gibson gibson uh submit to the uh cross page chicken wing just a phenomenal ending and you know this is what started the whole brian danielson title reign that was from glory of honor 4 that the actual match took place in september of uh 2005 right after the uh unbreakable triple threat so um all right next up i'm going to go with uh danielson versus morishima uh danielson versus takeshi morishima this took place in manhattan mayhem 2 Everyone needs to check this match out. This is another masterpiece. I mean, uh, I, I, in my opinion, it's a five-star match. It's, uh, uh, it's it's a super hot crowd. The crowd was on fire for this match every step of the way. It didn't matter if they were going slow, if they were telling a story, if there was high spots. They were in it every step of the way. And obviously, this match is re remembered for Morishima, you know, being really stiff with Danielson. Danielson actually uh, suffered a detached retina in his eye. So uh, he had to get surgery after this match. Still wrestled the match with the uh, with the eye off being all fucked up. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, a great you know big man versus little man match. Still made for a great story. Some people think it's overrated, but you know uh, if you were there live, I I wasn't there live. But if you were there live, people that were there live are a lot more high on it than the people that weren't. But you know I can imagine this this must have been a sight to see. So that was from uh, Manhattan Mayhem too. At number eight, number seven, I'm going to go with uh, Danielson versus Samoa Joe. This is from the Midnight Express Reunion from 2004. Pretty bad production values, I must warn you. This prob this show probably had the worst production values out of any Ring of Honor show. However, in my opinion, this is by far the best Brian Danielson Samoa Joe match. So if you're wondering what their be best match was, uh, this is definitely it. Told a great story. I mean, they went pretty hard. Danielson took it to uh, Samoa Joe hard as hell. He didn't do what CM Punk did. CM Punk tried to be very methodical and and slowed Joe down with the headlock, but Danielson just went hard as hell for maybe 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, Joe was the uh, ROH World Champion for like 20 months at the time, so no one could beat him, uh, but Joe still uh, won the match. But this match had a ton of drama, you know, the, the fans really got behind Danielson. Danielson was awesome in this match, calling Samoa Joe a motherfucker. I mean, it was just a lot of intensity, so I just wish it could have better production values. Maybe if it had production values, we could be talking about possibly, you know, one of the top five, Ring of Honor matches of all time. So, uh, number six, I'm going to go with the Survival of the Fittest match from 2004, the very first Survival of the Fittest. This is by far the the best Survival of the Fittest ever. Uh, this is what started off with the bang. It was uh, Danielson versus Aries versus uh, Homicide, Samoa Joe, Mark Briscoe, and Colt Cabana. Uh, eventually, it came down to Danielson and Austin Aries. This is where Austin Aries became a star. This definitely set up their test in the limit match beautifully. And, you know, uh, Aries got busted open. Uh, Danielson hit uh, Aries with a bunch of uh, uppercuts, and Aries is bleeding from the chin. I mean, it was a brutal match, and they, they pretty much tore the house down. And uh, the last 20 minutes, they just went at it pretty hard. So uh, that was the survival of, of the fittest match. Uh, number five, I'm going to go with Danielson versus Low Key from 2002. This is part of the uh, Round Robin Challenge. Without a doubt, the best match in 2002. And for a long time, uh, during the early days of Ring of Honor, this is pretty much considered the greatest match in Ring of Honor history. I mean, Danielson and Loki, they just took it back to the old school days. You know, this is kind of reminiscent of the ancient Greece style wrestling. Uh, I mean, it was uh, technical, you know, wizardry here. You know, you had uh, Ken Shamrock was the referee, and they just went out there for like 30 minutes, put on a wrestling clinic. I believe uh, Danielson actually won the round robin challenge, made uh, Loki pass out with the cat mutilation. There were some awesome spots in this match. Loki did a key crusher off the top rope. Uh, they did so many things, so uh, def without a doubt, the best match from 2002, in my opinion. Uh, so definitely check it out. Number four, I'm going to go with uh, Brian Danielson versus Roderick Strong from Vendetta. This is the, their best match by far, and, and in my opinion, the best match of 2005. I'd even put it above Joe versus Kabasi and Loki and Kenta. I think it's that good. You know, Roderick's uh, chops, they just felt like gunshots. I've talked about this match plenty of times, but they went for 48 minutes. It did not feel like a 48-minute match. It just flew by like like it was nothing. I mean, it just went really, really fast. And Danielson really, uh, you know, in this match, you could definitely see the transformation. He was becoming a little bit more cocky, a little bit more smarter, a little bit more intense. He made uh, Roger Strong pass out with MMA elbows. I mean, it was a sick ending and uh, just a phenomenal, phenomenal match. Uh, number three, I'm going to go with Danielson versus Nigel McGuinness. 
This is from Driven, uh, 2007 on pay-per-view. Um, I mean, they, they tore the house down here. This probably had the most action out of all the Brian Danielson and Nigel Beginners matches. I mean, they packed in a lot of stuff. Had a tremendous hot crowd. The crowd went crazy for the Larry. They got busted open. They started headbutting each other. This is just a war. And uh, this is probably my personal favorite Danielson versus Nigel McGuinness match. That's from Driven. Uh, but number two, I'll go with Danielson versus uh, Nigel McGuinness from Unified. Uh, one of the most important matches in Ring of Honor history. You know, Danielson was the ROH champion. Nigel was the pure champion. And there had to be a winner here. So they were finally going to unify the titles. Danielson actually won the pure title. So he unified both belts, but, uh, you know, they were in uh, England, I believe, uh, London, England, uh, Nigel McGuinness' uh, home country, so he, the crowd was definitely on his side. Um, yeah, it was a scary match because, uh, you know, Danielson actually took Nigel, started banging him against the ring post. Nigel was getting all bloody. He was bleeding like crazy, and then Nigel wouldn't give up. Uh, the, his comeback was awesome when he hit the Larry. I mean, I mean, this is just the most dramatic match in Ring of Honor history. If you haven't seen it, you're definitely missing out. So check out uh, the Unified match. And number one, of course, I'm going to go with Danielson versus Kenta from Florida of Honor 592. Many of you guys know I'm very, very high on this match. I think this is the greatest match in Ring of Honor history. And when it all comes down to it, it's probably my favorite match of all time. Right up there with Angle and Benoit from uh, the Royal Rumble. But uh, yeah, this is awesome. You know, the great thing about this, this was uh, Danielson's first match back since, uh, you know, separating his shoulder against uh, Colt Cabana. And they just went out there and just put on an epic match. I mean, Kenta was kicking the crap out of Danielson's shoulder. It felt like a real fight. Uh, it was a serious gut check, but uh, Danielson still put on, you know, arguably the greatest match of all time here. I just thought it was awesome. He actually defeated Kenta with the uh, with the uh, Kata mutilation. Uh, the fans just exploded at the uh, during the end of this match. This really put over Danielson huge. I mean, his legend just, you know, was going up and up and up. And after this match, it was just he's just set the standard and just an awesome, awesome match. So, uh, yeah, so that's Brian Danielson's top 50 matches. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think. If, if you think I left something out, just feel free to write it in the comment section. Uh, I appreciate uh, you watching the video. All right, thanks.